Hello guys, so today we have FC Zenit and the tactics that I'm going to use today is four wingers, okay? So basically we have two prolific winger here supported by two roaming flank, okay? So that's the basic idea of this tactic. Of course you can play with other tactics too uh, using Zenit because they have a lot of playing style. They have a target man, Juba, the captain. They have a whole player, Shamkin here. And of course they have winger, so you can play with 4-3-3, um, false 9 kind of style. And you can play with 4-4-2, diamond. There's a lot of tactics that you can use uh, that I've posted before. But we're always trying to use different tactics, explore different tactics. So this time it's going to be a four winger tactics. So what you want to do is use three, four, three formation, three, two, two, three. Okay. And then put your wingers, prolific winger. You can put Malcolm on the right if you want. Or uh, on the left, I mean, or on the right, it's up to you. Okay, and we have roaming flank here, and then we have box to box. Okay, but you want to make some adjustment because uh, if these two are too close, it's not good. So you want to push these two up here. Oh, let me clear here. All right, and then you want to push these two out wide here and change just before it switches to the second striker there all right so basically this uh, two roaming flank will uh drift inside okay it will go inside like that so there will be someone in the middle don't worry and you want to put this center midfielder down here just before it switches to left back all right the main reason is you want to cover the area here. There's no one here. If uh, the opponent's winger go in this area, then you have no one to stop them. So make sure you put this center midfielder here. Don't worry because uh, these two box to box will go inside also during attack. Just start. Uh, from this position as you go forward then he will make a run inside like that okay and then these two will go inside and the target man will drop down okay so you will have players in the middle so don't worry just play like that the roaming flank will go here then go inside so you will have uh, two player cutting inside for your target man to pass the ball to okay so just pass the ball to your target man or your false nine here and get the ball to your wingers all right attacking instruction is counter attack short pass wide flexible uh, support range uh, very close number one defensive is all out defense center aggressive defensive line and compactness a bit low okay Advanced instruction none, but if you want you can use tiki taka if you want or you can put defensive instruction on the center midfielder or you can put a false nine if you play with a goal poacher or a fox in the box okay so but this one is off and that is it let's get into the game superstar 10 minutes spartak musk
so it is the start of the game. Quickly, the camera settings is stadium, zoom 4, height 10, angle 0. Okay, so I just want to say this tactic is a bit hard to play with uh, against a team that are very defensive. So uh, the opponent that we have is quite defensive. So a bit hard to get through. Uh, if you play against a 4-3-3 formation against three wingers, then it'll be better, like uh, Liverpool. All right. So what you want to do is get the ball to the winger, then pass it back inside to your target man. Just like the 4-3-3 uh, false nine tactic, but this time you have two wingers cutting inside. But you have to make some. Alright. You have to make some play using the L1 right stick to force the roaming flank to run inside the penalty box. Okay, you can see the box to box and roaming flank going up there. So that's what you expect from this tactic. It's kind of similar to the two full back finisher tactic. Uh, the Dortmund one, but this time the fullback finisher is the roaming flank, so they are a bit higher. Alright, let's do a short free kick here. Couldn't take a shot. No worries. I return to Zobanin. I do not follow the Russian league, so. I'm sorry in advance if I butchered the name. Alright. So, Mass Law. Oh, pass to Ayrton. Mostoboy. Alright. Get the ball to your winger. To your target man, then you have your winger up there, or you can pass it roaming flank here. All right, that's a goal. The goal scorer, Driussi. So, let's see it again. You can see the up there is the roaming flank. This, the in front of Juba right now is the prolific winger. So, prolific winger sometimes will go inside too, doing a diagonal run. So, they will switch the position sometimes, the roaming flank and the prolific winger. But those two will always go inside the penalty box like that. So you want to play uh, from one side, just like in the false nine tactic, where you play on the right side this time, then go into the middle, find your false nine, then get the ball to your winger. But this time, instead of one winger, you have two wingers inside the box. All right. So it's it will be a bit crowded, but. Uh, I think it, it works, but you have to do some more things, some more pass, extra pass. Usually from this, you only have to do a true pass to your winger. But this time, because the winger is inside here, so the defender is uh, dropping down to help, So which make it a bit crowded in the middle. So you have uh, some work to do, but it works. Uh, try this out and see if you like this one compared to the normal false nine tactics uh, with uh, two wingers only this time we have four all right Mostovoy Aeropin so this box to box kind of works like a false uh, I mean a full back finisher where he goes inside like that And you can pass it to him like that. Leave it through. Couldn't go through a bit slow. So that's one attack that you can do. The box to box coming inside. Just get the ball to your target man. Then you can find your players. You can see here our uh, wing is exposed because we have no goal back or the box to box. So you want the box to box to stay out wide. Put him out right. All 
Right, Driussi. The box to box. All right, the winger. Oh, what a bad shot, but Juba is that to finish it, to get the rebound. The captain saluting. All right, see that again. Our box to box, the center midfielder, the right center midfielder getting to the middle. Here, Erokin going to the middle then give a true pass but his shot is bad Sutormin luckily target man is there and that's one advantage of using a target man compared to a false nine instruction because false nine instruction usually will stay outside of the box okay so with target man he will go inside the box after passing the ball now we have Arakin here, the one who gave a true pass in the previous play. Right? You can do something like that, just pass the ball between the wingers. You can see target man dropping down. Oh. Early ball in, and it's a bad cross. Okay, no worries. Nice love to Victor Moses. Defensively, I think it's quite not that good uh, for frontline pressure. That's why I play with all out defense. Because you're, I don't know, it's hard to say, but it's not that good uh, for frontline pressure. So just let them come to you. Alright, now Ponce or Ponche, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Alright, now Doriusi. One minute of added time. Can we score one more before the end of the first half? To Malcolm. Ah, oh, that's a weak shot. And you can see the wingers, the right winger running inside into the penalty box. Alright, so it's the start of the second half. Let's score one more goal. Our aim is always to score three goals. Now we have Zobnin. I think Zobnin is the captain for Russia, right? Not quite sure. Who's the captain now for Russia? Rakitsky. Alright. Uh, build up your play slowly from the back. Use your center back. You can uh, dribble with him forward. Alright. Okay. So you can play like that. Basically, it's a very wide tactic. You can use the width. Target man staying inside, so that's one uh, reason you want to use uh, target man instead of uh, false nine instruction. So if you go back, then the target man will drop down. But let's go through the middle here. Couldn't find Zuba, but was fouled outside of the penalty box here. Can we score one using Malcolm? Oh, good save by the keeper. Okay, goes down here using the center midfielder. Oh, what a ball through. And <laughs> why didn't he hand it away? Oh my god. I already pressed the pass button to head the ball to the keeper. 
<laughs> that's a animation problem see that again he heads it but couldn't connect <laughs> right a bit unlucky that to concede no worries all right so that's one play that you can do now juba is through juba couldn't slip one through should have used a uh, chip shot so pass the ball from your box to box to your roaming flank then to your winger and you can find your target man uh, attack from wider area because that's uh, the main idea of the tactic it's a uh, winger I want to pass it out wide to the roaming flank but I don't know the pass now to the target man we have our player running inside but couldn't pass it to him in front of us one more goal now Larson can he find a rack shot for oh, the cut back? Cleared away. No. Okay, good block. Go out wide. Find target man. We have our winger over the top there. Couldn't get to that ball quick enough. Alright. So you can see our uh, roaming flank is in the middle. So it's going to switch. The position, the roaming flank and the box to box. Just down here. Couldn't block the cross. Oh my god. Okay, clear the way. Storm in. Roaming flank. Target man. We have a runner in front. Malcolm will punish them. Alright. So you can see the winger coming inside into the penalty box. That's your main scorer. Okay, see you again. You can see there up top there, Malcolm from the wide area, the right winger cutting inside. Then you have someone to pass in the middle there. But you also have the roaming flank who is running straight. So you have two options to pass. Alright. So it is a four wingers uh, setup, but uh, usually you will have two players on one side, two wingers on one side to pass the ball to. And compared to the normal false nine tactic where you have only two wingers, you will only have one player to pass the ball to. So, I think it's a bit better uh, offensively, but uh, on the balance side, it's, it's a bit poor, I think. You can see how many times uh, they can get into our penalty box compared to the other tactics that I've posted before. Alright, now we have our winger go into the middle. We have Malcolm running inside there, but couldn't pass it to him. You see, a bit easy to, uh, to make your winger run through the defender there. So try this out and let me know in the comments how well it works for you guys. Only three minutes left. Oh, almost intercept the ball. Right, you can see it's a bit hard to do frontline pressure because we do not have a uh, attacking midfielder. Right, two minutes left. Can we score one goal? Right. Ah, no. Right, a bit hard to go through. So I think that's it for today's video 
like this video if you find this video useful. Subscribe if you haven't yet. There's a lot more uh, tutorial, uh, formation and tactics to go through. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one.